If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to defend tight formations a lot better. We're going to be in the Buccaneers defensive playbook from the 245 odd. Now, before we get into it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. If you're not a member, become a member. Get access to those schemes, the stuff that I use to compete. How I won my last Super Bowl. I use my own stuff, man. And if I didn't know my own stuff, <laughs> probably would be hell on wheels. Tell you guys right now. So take advantage. Wild Trio Week. Uh, tight offset, tight end. 4 6. What else we have? Dollar 3 2, and there's more to come. Something special coming too. So stay tuned for that. All right. 2 4 5 out. Let me show you guys how to shut down tight formations. Simple and easy. I'm just going to put a safety here. I already have one here. Okay. And then I'm going to leave David there because he's 92, bro. I got to have some, some sort of run stopping. Name of the play right here is going to be the cover four drop. Now, if you're not using this play versus tight formations, which is like right here, we can go to the tight Y off week. Let's just run flood. Let me show you guys how you defend it properly and easy. It's very easy. So what we want to do is baseline. Wire triangle left stick to the right. You'll see the box pop up. Baseline. Put your defense in the default positions. And then we're going to press. Wire triangle left stick down for press. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to give you leverage versus corner routes and crossing routes because the quarters are actually going to play them properly. You know what I mean? So, essentially, what's good about the cover four drop is if they run the ball, we can bring these guys down and their run fits actually go inside to stop the run. So, they are ready to help you with the run game. So, if they run inside zone, which I'll show you a setup that you can use for the inside zone, uh, that works pretty well. Okay, so right here, we're just going to snap the ball. I don't remember the routes and how that flood worked, but I know it's going to be to the left side. But let's just watch what happens here. And we want to play this area. Boom, we got in route here. We're going to watch this guy. And he hits the flat. He's got nowhere to really go. And in the AI, if he doesn't have like a pass, he's going to try to take off with the ball. However, in regs or in ultimate team, they can't just take off with the ball. It doesn't work that way. But the AI knows better. They know they can. So if he takes off with the ball, it's just what it is. Okay, so let's go to instant replay. Show you guys what was happening with this corner route. Now, this is the side of the corner route that we were watching. But this quarter right here is going to sit low with him. So if he tries to throw that corner route, He's going to pick it off. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually flip the play. I don't know if it's going to allow me to, but I'm going to use cover four drop. Same thing. And then I want to run the same play, but flip it. There we go. Flip it. So now they're on this side. And I want to be on the same side as the running back because I know table routes, in routes, stuff like that's coming. I want to be on this side. Now, you can switch out David for safety. Up to you, however you want to do it. However, I'm going to leave him here. And let's just see what the vibes are with that corner route on the wide side of the field. Watch this area. Watch this area. Watch right here. Goes to the flat again and gets no yards. So you're seeing that this play is not only going to help you with corner routes, it's also going to help you with the flat plays, just running the damn play stock. Okay. So against tight formations, this cover four drop is essential. So you see the baseline press running right into my quarter. He cannot throw that corner up. He just can't do it. And if this guy tries to take off on something slick, well, they already passed the ball. But if he tries to go over the top, then these quarters are going to help. So you're seeing how it slows it down tremendously. Baseline press, just like this. And then we float on the side of the running back. Watch this side, got this side, that end route. So remember, got to remember where they are like where they like to hit, and that's what you guard. So you can baseline press shade inside. So he plays inside of his zone. Do it again. Boom, boom. Here, here, here. And he has to hit underneath, which he's going to get minimal yards very low okay so you want to fluctuate this in between man defense uh cover two defense but i'm just giving you guys the base setup so here we go again let's shade inside let's see what this yellow does on the left side so i can actually guard this other in route boom here here in route here got nowhere to go literally unless he breaks tackles like that now you can slow even that down by baseline press and shading underneath so wire triangle right stick down for underneath gives you some hard flats okay that actually works as well too so it's up to you how you want to do it. You could take this hook curl away, but if they hit a seam, you're going to be kind of cooked. So you could take it and put it into a mid read. All right. So if he tries to hit that in route, this mid read should actually do something about it. So we play here, we can play here, and now our mid reads in the way, and he's got nowhere to go. Well, actually, he's going to probably get 55 yards because my defense couldn't tackle him. And this guy does not want to go down. But it's like I tell you, the AI is going to know better once they realize they don't have a read. That's going to happen. So you saw how we took him from the hook curl to a mid read. And then that in route that was getting open, no longer open. Okay. Just like that. Now, if they're running inside zones, show you guys something really quick. 
we're gonna pick the same play and let's just see how it defends its stock i don't know if there's an inside there's an outside zone uh there's not well let's just pick one from any formation okay let's just do that baseline press i'm gonna be on the same side now if they run it inside zone let's bring these guys down because typically in a game i do bring them down and let's just see what happens with this right here against the inside zone boom open lanes you don't want that you don't want the open lanes you saw that typically the people that play online are going to find the open gap to the right side right so you don't want to see that that's no good for nobody let me stay here let's see if he takes it it's i mean it's wide open okay that's not good the ai is just dropping the, the ball you know what i mean but let's baseline press again let's pinch the d-line well got to get unhung and then crash down in the middle okay like this and then bring the safeties down like this okay and we're gonna sit back here with our guy and it would just shoot the gap this way boom okay that's how you do it against all inside zones so i'm giving you guys the setups on defense and how to use this cover four drop properly okay base line press pinch the d-line crash them down sit behind this guy right here so if they run a run inside zone you can sweep around that gap like this boom I mean, I got the best setups in the game. Everybody knows this. You guys, you're not members yet. You want access to the good stuff? What are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing? Okay. Now, other things you can do, and this is what I like to do sometimes, and I only use cover four drop against type formations, to be honest with you. I'm not going to use it like religiously. We have mad defense against everything else, but people do love the type formations. Now, in the type formations, okay, let's just see if they have any. Okay, let's just see what he's got with flanker spot. You can actually take this guy, put him on an inside third, and then user this guy, and then man up people with the other guys. So like this, okay? You can do that, and then you can watch like the tight end. So we can go underneath with these guys, an inside third, using it this way. Now, I don't know what the AI is gonna pick, but boom, he's got underneath. So we know this route right here, probably something you need to man up. It just depends, or user, it doesn't matter doesn't really matter to me uh but like i said usering or manning up people probably your best bet typically what i do is inside receivers and then i shade down and let's just see what they got here because remember they still can't hit the corner routes right there we have someone there so it's covered so you can do inside man cross man defensive adjustments uh you can run it stock with hard flats you can even run a mabel so you can take this guy off put him on a curl flat blitz this guy inside third this guy and then user this guy so now we do have a Mabel to the left side, uh, different things like that. But like I said, he's going to find other routes that are open. Pick me right here over the middle. So remember and understand what is getting open and what's not. You know what I mean? So to lock this play down, uh, I'll keep the quarter. I'll put this guy on a mid read. You see this right here? Put him on a mid read, shade underneath like this. And I'll use the hook curl and wait for something to fall right in my lap, right underneath. So I'm going to cover, sweep this zone, sweep this zone. And then I'm right here. He's got nowhere to go. I mean, right there is crazy. And then you can send the house. So it's base align, press, blitz all linebackers, crash them down like this. And then you want to come user this guy. Now the AI is going to know better than to allow you to do that. But you can send the hounds by blitzing everybody and coming off the edge. But like I said, it's just things like that. Now I won't run that unless it's third and long, fourth and long where they need a lot of yards. I'm not going to blitz crazy because I have better blitzes. I have better man blitzes that work a lot better than the cover four drop. So blitzing out of the cover four drop is not something you really want to do. Pretty much what you want to do is just use the base line press method right here against it and then try to take away whatever's whatever he's using inside. Okay, so anything inside is what you want to take, take away. Boom, this way. He wants this guy. And we got someone right there already. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.